Whales live in all of the oceans on this earth, and the blue whale is the most magnificent. The blue whale truly is an animal of superlatives. It's the largest animal that has ever lived, up to 100 feet long, twice as heavy as the largest dinosaur. They can attain this great size because their weight is supported by the water. A male's penis can weigh one ton. Its sound travels further than any other animal, up to 500 miles. They migrate thousands of miles between their winter breeding areas and their summer feeding waters. They eat as many as 40 million krill a day, around 8,000 pounds. That much krill contains one and a half million calories. In comparison, people consume about 2,000 calories a day. They have to eat that many because each krill is less than one half inch long. This huge whale can survive on these tiny animals because krill are one of the most abundant organisms on Earth. And blue whales are superbly adapted to eating thousands of them in one mouthful. They scoop a huge quantity of water and krill into their mouths and then use their giant tongues to force the water out while the krill are caught in their baleen plates. This magnificent animal has radically declined over the last several hundred years. No one is sure how many there were before whaling. Maybe 250,000, maybe many more. When whaling was banned in 1966, their population was well below 2,000. Today, there are believed to be around 5,000 blue whales. The threats to blue whales today range from global warming that has drastically reduced the krill population to collision with ships, which is what killed this one. Even though blue whales are truly unique, they have many things in common with other animals. Whales are made up of trillions of cells that work together to make organs, which in turn make up systems such as the digestive system and the circulatory system. Fish, pikas, and people share similar systems, and even one-cell bacteria share many of the same molecules. Biology is the study of living things, their place in ecosystems, and how they function from the smallest bacteria to the largest animal that has ever lived.